Welcome to another episode of Potpourri. I'm your host, Arielle Benton. And today's guest, we have two of our outstanding gentlemen on campus, Mr. Jalen Gildersleeve and Mr. James Honoré. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much for having us. And these two young men are contestants in the Man of the Year pageant 2013. You all look very dashing and debonair. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm excited to see the rest of you all on your on your pageant day. Yes, yes, yes we're very, very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, um, our students need to know who you are. So, would you please give us just a brief, brief, brief little background about yourselves? Tell me about where you came from, why you chose CAU, and what you're taking up here at our school. Okay. I'll go ahead first. Um, <clears throat> as she said, my name is James Honoré. Uh, I'm a sophomore dual degree chemistry chemical engineering major from Houston, Texas. Um, and so I came to Clark Atlanta with the premise on just helping my community in any way I can. And so I'm very excited to be a part of the Man of the Year pageant. It really gives me a, a leg up to do the things that I came here to do. So. Wonderful. Oh, well, my name is Jalen Gildersleeve. I'm from Flint, Michigan. I'm a business administration major with a dual concentration in marketing and supply chain management. And CAU has really helped me, like, culture myself, I would say. It helps me to um, achieve the goals that I already had set in place as well, to help altruistically help people without um, selfish intent. Oh, so. wonderful. I love these big <laughs> words. <laughs> So you two gentlemen came to school with an initiative in mind, and that was, first of all, to graduate right, with a course. degree. So how in the world did you get involved in the Man of the Year pageant? And tell me what that pageant is. Well, I got involved in the Man of the Year pageant to have a better position to advocate my um, potential to help other people from. I really feel as though it's, um, CAU is a great experience, and I feel like some of our students aren't taking advantages of it. So I feel like from this position, I can help other people experience the great experience that I'm having. So, but the Man of the Year pageant is a pageant where our top male students in the school um, come out and display why they should be Man of the Year and why they deserve the leadership position in the first place. Uh, for myself, it was. Uh quite a different journey on um, being a part of the Man of the Year pageant. Um, originally when I came in my freshman year, seeing pageants actually helped out in a couple pageants and I was like, this is not for me. <laughs> uh, but um, in talking to our current Man of the Year, Marquez Davis, um, and just knowing the kind of character that he has, this has been really a great opportunity. I have a chance to showcase talent um, and let people see different sides of myself and that's really what Man of the Year is all about. Not only are our top males academically um, academically savvy, but also have different talents that they uh, partake in and know how to be business and know how to be formal and know how to be a, a gentleman, which is something that uh, some would say is missing in this society. So mm. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to be a part of this and to kind of, uh, and I, I kind of feel that this year's Man, Man of the Year pageant is kind of the resurgence, uh, the reintroduction of the CAU gentlemen. So. Oh, I like that. That's a thrill. Yeah. It gets me excited <laughs> for the show. So the Man of the Year pageant, I understand, is a scholarship pageant. Yes. And yes. as you all explained, it's a platform to uplift our young men. Mm -hmm. Now CAU, we know we're wonderful, <laughs> and as, as far as the eye can see, there are beautiful women. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. But our men get true. overlooked. And we have the top, the cream of the crop here, yes. just like Morehouse has, right? Mm, this is true. And yes, so, man. do they have a man of the year pageant? Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how's your journey been? Um, these practices. I know some of you, this is your first pageant, and it's a little different. Pageant world is different, right? Mm, yes, it's <laughs> a different beast entirely. Yes. Yeah, so, Wow. Uh, to say that it has been difficult is an understate understatement. <laughs> um, the amount of patience that it has required uh, of me and um, it's really helped me grow in that area. Um, and that's another really great thing about being a part of this pageant is um, it helps you grow in, in different areas of character um, and patience and willingness to help and, and just just being able to uh, step out of yourself uh, to be able to accomplish something for the greater good. So. And for you, Jalen? It's 
definitely a learning experience. It's, but I it can't say it's been a bad one. It's learned, helped me improve my abilities to empathize with other people um, and help me understand other people and the mindset of other people. It's not always just about what you can do. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to help your pageant brothers. It's a, truly a growing experience. If you didn't have any siblings, it will definitely culture you to <laughs> the life of having siblings. Yeah. And it's, it's much more fun and interactive than I expected. I expect it to be extremely rigorous and competitive, but it's really a brotherhood like, that I form. We actually hang out and although it's down to business when we're in rehearsal and running through practices, it's still a love there. You want to see them do well. Right. Oh, wonderful. Right. So right. since we're speaking of your pageant brothers, how's the competition? Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess you can crown first and second attendant. <laughs> when we get to the pageant coach. Oh, oh. No, but uh, oh. <laughs> see, as you can see, it gets <laughs> intense. And some people get ahead of themselves. But. Oh, wow, yeah. look, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean to say it, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but but in, all, in all seriousness, uh, there's, there's a lot of competition. Honestly, we each bring our uh, unique aspect to the pageant, and I, I think it's gonna be something that's uh, gonna be worthwhile to see, uh, just because uh, unlike most pageants, uh, we're switching things up. Uh, we have yeah. we have an eclectic group of contestants, mm -hmm. um, and and so it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. and they're all extremely passionate. Yeah, and oh, we all want it for different reasons, but we all I'm sure we all advocate from the right place. Always coming from the heart. We're all really focused and prepared thoroughly. Mm, so wonderful. Well, I know Marquez Davis. He's very astute, and I'm mm -hmm. sure he's going to put you in the right direction. Very sharp. So I've also heard that you guys came up with something that's a little different from any other pageant, and that's a group platform. Can you explain this? I've never heard that. Well, what the group platform is, our advisor came up with the idea that we should take a stance together. And it was a great idea. It helped us bond more. But the platform is to keep guns off campuses, mm -hmm. off college mm -hmm. campuses. And we felt as though um, if we feel strongly about something separately, together, of course, it'll have a more resonating impact, and it has. It helped us bond together, and it's helped the campaign as grow its attention, and even our pageant grow attention as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, the campaign to keep guns off campus is um, something that we just all jumped right behind. It, it's definitely a, a positive thing that we're all doing, and it's definitely different from any other pageant, and I, I think it's great that we have all gotten the chance to um, pr promote something together instead of us uh, just, oh, I'm contestant number one promoting this platform, contestant number two promoting this platform. No, we're all contestants of Men of the Year promoting this one central goal of trying to keep uh, guns off campus, and so, yes, it, it, it is a controversial uh, topic, mm -hmm. a controversial thing that's going on, and um, we we have heard some slack about it. Uh, this is true. But the, the the great thing about it is um, we've also gotten a lot of great feedback from it, mm -hmm. and it's been more positive than negative. Um, we all like to stand on the premise that um, even though some of these incidents are happening, we still have to keep a positive outlook, and fear is not going to do anything but drive us to uh, negative results. So we just have to remain positive and um, it's just another, it's just a whole another aspect of, of remaining poised, remaining calm mm -hmm. um, and, and remaining in the right mindset to make right decisions and make the right judgment on uh, different views. And, and so I think it's great that we've all been able to come together behind this, it's uh, okay. given us a chance to really come together even more Mm -hmm. um, because I, I know, especially with myself, Jalen uh, Gildersleeve and Jalen Neal, who's another contestant in the pageant, with us being able to um, physically promote, th promote this on uh, with interviews between Channel 2, with the PSA that we did together, mm -hmm. um, that, that was, it was, it was great and it, it really gave, uh, gave me a chance to really see different pieces of their character and what they really stand for. Well, I truly admire you. Uh, 
contestants of the Man of the Year pageant, not just the two of you, but everyone, because that is something to definitely impact more than just our institution. Mm -hmm. You know, we're surrounded by so many colleges here in the Atlanta metro area. So I hope that this uh, resonates throughout the city because over the last decade, we've been dealing with a lot of senseless violence mm -hmm. due true. to gun crime. Yeah. And just recently, some things have happened in northeastern America, and people have lost lives ahead of their time. And I don't think anyone deserves that. So whatever we can do to stand up against right. senseless um, acts of gun violence, I think we should take a stand. Definitely. So definitely. I definitely think this is going to impact more than just CAU. Right. This is really going to resonate throughout the city of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And who knows, maybe you lucky contestants will be on a platform somewhere else right. next year. You yeah. never know. I hope that this continues on, though. A group platform seems like something that will keep you bound and committed right. for yeah, a long true. time. Win or lose, Definitely. you know, whatever happens, you're still bound to this this one platform. Mm. So that's really good. Yeah. Oh yes, I like that. So you did mention that you have personal platforms. Right. So what sure. are those? Uh, well, my platform, uh, it, it stems from the, the region of health. Um, I really like to focus on uh, personal health habits as well as being environmentally healthy, uh, being envi environmentally knowledgeable about everything that goes, uh, that goes on around us, making sure that we're keeping our home clean first mm -hmm. um, before we can actually impact on the, on the outskirts. So um, I, I personally um, have, have different things that I've gone through that really helped me focus on uh, making sure I remain um, active and healthy and also um, environmentally savvy, making sure I recycle and making sure I'm, I'm not uh, littering mm -hmm. or anything like that, making sure I'm keeping my environment clean. Uh, because if we feel good, we do good. So are you a part of the Living Green Club? I, I, I'm, I'm not a part of it, a part of it, but I do actively work with them um, in recycling efforts and anything um, because the Living Green Club works really closely with the uh, dual degree engineering department. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I've also been a part of the research on campus with, with uh, biodiesel fuels and um, other eco-friendly projects. Yes. So um, that's, something, that's something that I really do have a passion for. I can tell. Definitely, and the Living Green Club has really revamped their entire right. organization to help simplify what they're doing exactly. to the general population. Because recycling is, is just as simple exactly. as separating what you have. <laughs> right. And it's really simple to do, so I'm glad you're going Very to help that too. out. And so you, Jalen? My platform is more based around, like I said, helping the students. I'm focused on um, improving um, male retention so that more of our males can, like you said, advocate on the campus our greatness and to increase our matriculation process so that our students really understand what they have here and what the legacy that they're living. So essentially, so I want the students to understand that they have great opportunities all around them and they really are experiencing something that other people aren't at other places. So I want them to really nurture and be cultured by this experience. So by improving the matriculation process, let them really make that transition from high school to college so they can really thrive when, they get, when they're when um, they about to graduate and after they graduate, be ready for the workplace or mm -hmm. to go into their careers. So you're going to reel them in and you're going to make them recycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good platform, both of you. So I hope you definitely, whatever, you, whatever title you may gain from this pageant. I hope you are able to fulfill that platform. And CAU is definitely a wonderful institution because no matter, you know, win or lose in any pageant, mm -hmm. we're, we have so many organizations and if we don't have one, you can make one. <laughs> right. And whatever your passion is, someone else out here has that same passion and that yeah. same drive. Right. So win or lose, I hope you fulfill both of your, your platforms. So one more thing. Now, Everybody's getting ready for finals and studying and the reading period. What's going to stand out about your pageant that's going to make us say, hold on, give me an hour or two break, and let me see what these gentlemen have to offer? Uh, well, besides just a uh, pretty face, <laughs> um, like I said before, this is an e eclectic, uh, very different, uh, multifaceted group of individuals, and we have 
so much to offer. And, uh, and the way this pageant is set up, it's uh, going to be different from any pageant uh, that anybody on this campus has seen. It's going to be so amazing and, and all the buzz that we've gotten about this, all the uh, people from the outside that have come in to help us really put on this wonderful production. So many people from um, from Mr. C, who's our advisor, uh, who, who from last year didn't really have a, a faculty advisor that would come in every rehearsal. Uh, I know this just because I was uh, a part of the Man of the Year pageant just helping. Um, and, and being able to see this kind of transition um, into something. It's growing. Exactly. Yes. It, it's to, into yeah. something that's going to be huge. Mm. So. I'm excited. What about you, Jalen? What do you think? It, just overall, not even dealing with the buzz, just the um, production that we have with our coordinator, uh, Mr. Davis, he's really created a thing of beauty. His brilliance in um, creating the way our sp uh, whole pageant is set up like it's so different from your traditional pageant it's definitely worth coming to and the like the buzz behind it has gotten the president to come some board of trustees members it's really has gained a nice following so it's going to be it's going to be worth the two-hour break definitely oh wow so how does this feel this is really big this platform this year has surmounted the past platforms of our previous kings well, yeah, you would call them kings. <laughs> uh, and so you've, you've done news shows, you've done PSAs, you're doing a talk show. <laughs> How does this feel? This is huge. It's a truly enlightening experience. <laughs> I never, in a sense, I never expected to be in a pageant. I've never been behind a camera, never really dealt with any of that. So I'm definitely more on the study and produce good grades aspect <laughs> of it. So it's interesting to be behind this amount of this amount of media, this this is truly a beautiful culture and experience and I'm really blessed and graced to have it. Definitely. Um, this pageant has been uh, an absolute blessing, um, absolute. Uh, from the people that I've met, from the things that I've been able to experience, um, it's just been at times overwhelming, but from the same, uh, from the same perspective, it's just like an overwhelming of blessings. Um, and I'm just so glad that I've been able to uh, be a part of this. And I'm so glad that I actually said yes to come to, uh, to apply and, yes. and, to go, uh, <laughs> and to go through this uh, process. And um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. This is wonderful. And I know your other pageant brothers are out there listening to you and rooting you on. And I want them to know that we're behind you as well. <laughs> we'll be there to support you as well. Now, I don't mean to do this, but you have to get ready. Pageant right. question for both of you. All right. OK, Mr. Jalen, you're first. How do you feel your, your, your involvement in this pageant will impact the women at CAU? I would hope that it would make them <laughs> understand that the CAU male and the Morehouse men and Georgia State, that there's not truly a big difference. There's only a difference in passions and drives. We all have the potential to truly fulfill anything that we want. Because I feel though, as though we're not effectively as marketed as the Morehouse men or mm -hmm. as Georgia State or Georgia Tech. And I feel that diversity is not necessarily as positive as I would like it. As being a CAU man and a man of passion and intelligence, I would like women to understand that we are here <laughs> and we have things that we want to show too. So I would definitely hope that this pageant helps them to understand that the CAU man is back. Oh, you hear that, ladies? The CAU man is back. <laughs> All right. And now, okay, Mr. James, let me think. Okay. All right. If you could speak to your younger self, what words of wisdom or advice would you give? If I could speak to my younger self, um, I would tell them to start early. Uh, start early and do not stop until you finish. Mm. Um, one, one of the biggest problems that I had from uh, before entering college was procrastination and um, kind of just halfway doing things. Um, and, and so coming into college, I, I was able to fix that habit. Um, fortunately, I was able to fix that habit, have a 4.0 GPA first, uh, first semester freshman year, 
ended up my freshman year with the overall GPA of 3.9. And so um, I would just tell my past self, start early, don't finish. I mean, start early, don't stop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. You're able to think on your feet. That's really good. I'm not sure what kind of questions you're going to get. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't get any kind of secret tips. Yes. So I'm glad you all are able to think on your feet. So another question, though. As far as the pageant is concerned, you all see pageants on our campus almost weekly. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Do you think these patents are something to help us or is it a little too much? Well, as long as they're quality, which they always are, they really are truly wonderful experiences. Um, being on this court, I've had the pleasure of going to the AUC pageant, which was truly an experience, along with the Miss CAU um, pageant. And those were like galas. They were wonderful experiences. I felt cultured and I felt the class of CAU brimming. I, I was elated to even go. It was really a resplendent experience. I'm glad I got to experience it and I'm glad our campus does this. It advocates that our school not only has rigor and uh, intellectual comparability but we have class. Mm -hmm. I like that. Definitely. Um, some people may feel it's too much, but I think it's I think it's great that we have all these pageants uh, because um, whether it's Miss Academic or Miss Delta Charm or Miss Bold and Beautiful or Miss Cali Club or something like that, uh, it really gives everybody a chance to really find find their place, find something that they're passionate about, um, and, and so I, I think it's great that there's so many different pageants that focus on so many different aspects of, of people, whether it's plus size uh, women or um, uh, Afrocentric women or something like that, um, and something like the NAACP pageant that's also coming up right after ours. And um, I, I think it's wonderful that each student um, with their own different mindsets gets to see something that they're probably a little bit more interested in, a little bit more um, enthralled by. And, um, and so I think all these patents are great. I agree. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> I think uh, these pageants definitely give us a leg to stand on. Mm -hmm. If you don't fit in here, maybe you'll fit in mm -hmm. here. And that's the legacy of CAU. Right. If you can't find a way, what do you do? We'll make you one. make one. <laughs> so definitely. And at the end of the day, each pageant has always had uh, opportunity of service. Mm -hmm. So whether you win or lose, whether you're helping backstage or helping beforehand, it's service. Right. And I think everybody, whether they've done a pageant and won or not, they come out as a better person. Right. You're able to walk and you're able to talk a little bit differently yeah. and you're able to address any crowd, any audience. So it's yeah. a lot of fun, definitely. Yes. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, thank for joining so me today. You all were great yeah, and you think on the spot. That's <laughs> really good. And I think my man of the year might be sitting right next to me. So thank you all for tuning in and I hope that you'll join us when, gentlemen. April 29th at 7 p.m. in the multi-purpose room in Bishop L. Cornelius Henderson <laughs> Student Center. Thank you so much. And again, thanks for tuning in to Potpourri. I'm your host, Ariel Benton. We'll see you soon. It's time to man up against guns on campus. Let's get together like men. Talk man to man. About how more guns? Not the answer. More guns are just more guns. More violence. More dead levels. And we students are men who are involved. Collecting signatures for the campaign. Keep guns off campus. We are taking responsibility. Like men. Join us. One of us will take the title of Man of the Year at Clark Atlanta University. It's going to be me. Come meet the Man of the Year at CAU, April 20th. 29th, 7 p.m. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stuck. We got much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stuck. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. Feed the smallest spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. i
Up to 40% of businesses never recover. Up to 40%. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got much too much. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. Feed the smallest spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It's time to man up against guns on campus. Let's get together like men. Talk man to man. About how more guns? It's not the answer. More guns are just more guns. More violence, more dead levels. And we students are men who are involved. Collecting signatures for the campaign. Let's keep guns off campus. We are taking responsibility. Like men. Join us. One of us will take the title of Man of the Year at Clark Atlanta University. It's going to be me. Come meet the Man of the Year at CAU, April 29th, 7 p.m.